Salutations wet shaver Spencer here back for another shave video and no I haven't tried to go and start a shave just yet I'm actually doing something different for a change which is some pre-shave now what this is is probably the only pre-shave that I've used and it actually worked which is PAA the cube so I've got that in here all I did was I went and had a shower I came out of the shower wet my face with some hot water and I rubbed some cube on sort of lathered it up and massaged it into the hair trying to, you know, soften the hairs up ready for a shave. Um, so I've got uh, just over a day's growth on. Um, I've got another video that I haven't managed to upload just yet, uh, already recorded, so that one will pop up first, and then this one. Um, so it won't be, you know, two shaves in one day. <laughs> It'll uh, be two separate ones. I just haven't had the time to upload the other one. I'm gonna wash this off with some warm water, and um, yeah, and we'll get going with the shave. This stuff's crazy slick, really nice. You don't really, you, you can lightly rinse it off and then that can be your like pre-shave oil or cream replacement. Um, but ideally you can add just another thin layer of the soap onto your face. Um, <clears throat> they are actually classed as a lather booster because it's got activated charcoal in there which is a really, really good additive for a lather boost. Rocking a wine today. All right, let's talk about the nitty gritty. What are we doing today? We're doing a versus video. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, adjustable razors have been my go-tos for quite a while at the moment. Um, it's just so easy to go into a shave, go, what do I want, aggressive or mild? And I don't even have to think with these razors. You just pick up and use it. And these are two of my absolute favorites. One of them is the Budget Beast, which is this one here. The other one being the Bulky Beast, and not just in heft, but in price as well. This one is about $54 Australian delivered um, from AliExpress. This one, I'm pretty sure, is in the high 200 marks, uh, minus delivery, I think. Uh, could be wrong, but I think that's right. Could be 300, I don't know. Around there. So, this razor has to shave really, really well to beat this. And we're gonna be using the same blade today. And um, I've used them both back and forwards, but never side by side next to each other. So you guys will be uh, finding out as much as I do, uh, as much as I do, finding out um, the same time I do, uh, what I feel is the better razor, what I feel is the better value. Do I feel like you get a better shave with the much higher price tag? And is it worth it? So, we are going Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless, which is the green ones. That's them here. That's what I'm gonna be rocking in the razors. And I'm gonna show you how to load them. So we've got the Rex Ambassador. This pops down like that. So then you can lift out the top cap, put the bottom cap down, leave the top cap in my hand, grab the blade, pop it down nice and easy like that. Now press the razor down and then just spin it, spin it with my finger like that until it's tight and that's it. Passing on razor is a little bit different. It is a twist to open. I absolutely adore this razor. I've been absolutely loving it and it's actually my bench top razor. So I've got a stand and that's the razor that I put on there at the moment. So passing on. A little bit different you twist it that's your mechanism in there all you need to do pop the blade in like that close it up done but when you're changing settings with this uh, the twist to open ones you need to open it up and then change your settings so at the moment it's on nine because that's what I used it last time and it was awesome I'm going to change it to three so both of them will be on three and both of them oh so this one's got a max setting of six this one has a max setting of nine so I will compare those actually. Let's just put them up to max setting, right? That sounds like a little bit more fun. Quit being boring, Spencer, and trying to get a good shave. <laughs> All right. Whereas the Rex, you just leave closed and you just change the knob and the blade gap opens up nice and big there. Now, what's the rest we're using for the shave? We're using a fantastic brand 
from Indonesia? I'm pretty sure it's Indonesia. I'm gonna back myself. <coughs> Excuse me. It's Oaken. I really, really like this stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. I've got it in the barbershop scent, uh, which is sort of like a leathery, not very powdery, just a leathery clean scent. It's really, really nice. And I've got that backed up with the aftershave as well, which is alcohol free. Um, so that stuff's pretty good. Brush, we're going the Smog 820. I keep getting confused, but I looked it up before. 830 is the one with the uh, dyed band. Um, but this one is the, oh my God, 820. <laughs> Short term memory loss, eh? It's a killer. All right. Let's just put a little bit more warm water on the face. We'll load up and let's go. All right. This stuff should lather up so nice and easily. This is one of the best packaging I've ever seen. I, I, I love this frosted brown look. Uh, it looks really vintage, like those old, I don't know, beer bottles. I always love dark brown beer bottles. I think they look awesome. And the top label, it's just very professional. It's just very artsy and looks really, really cool. They've put in a lot of effort with that. Um, and that side label is just so cool. Um, it's actually printed on. It's not a sticker or anything. I think that's bad ass. Um, definitely takes top spot along with uh, tallow and steel. But formula wise, this stuff takes down tallow and steel in my opinion. All right, Smoog 820. <laughs> Here we go. Super soft, I love this brush. Takes a couple of shades to break this one in, but after it's broken in, it's killer. Really, really nice little brush. Pretty sure this stuff's tallow based, it's ridiculously good. Yeah, tallow based. Still got some oils in there. It's got grapeseed oil, which is very, very good for the skin. Um, cocoa butter, uh, lanolin as well, and castor seed oil and shea butter, coconut oil, all really good stuff. That make it up there with just about any soap I've used. Let's go nice and thick, something a bit different for me. I don't normally do lathers like this, I normally do a lot thinner. Stuff it, hey? All right, so razors are loaded. They're on the max setting. Let's see how we go. Rex Ambassador will go first up. Same blade, same setting. Wow, it feels so good. Like The reason why I like both of these razors is that the highest setting isn't ridiculous and the lowest setting isn't ridiculous. They're all usable. Um, okay, <laughs> so initial impressions from those first strokes. This one was better. <laughs> no joke, it actually held it tighter. I'm not sure whether it's a blade exposure thing. It must be because there's more blade exposure on the, um, on the Rex. So, uh, I, d I don't know. But that just feels so nice. All right, all right, let's dial it down. Let's make sure the Rex Ambassador gets a fair test. So I'll put this down to five. And to make the equivalent, I'll bring this down to four. So I brought it down a quarter each. I mean, you can't complain with either one of these. They both shave incredibly well. I mean, that's just smooth. Audible feedback, definitely a lot better on the Rex Ambassador, I think. It just feels really, it's got a, a little bit more substantial audio feedback, which I love, which you don't normally get with stainless steels, but. See that there, and then with this one, it's got that tinny sound to it. 
that's just from the materials it's made and that's ultimately what this video is about is you are not buying a better shaver right i know it sounds cruel and a lot of rex ambassador fans are going to completely disagree with me and that's perfectly fine this razor does not shave any better than that parthenon razor Now, does this feel better in the hand? Yeah, I'd say so. This is a little bit more user-friendly for me. It's a little bit of a um, shorter handle and probably the grippiest handle I've ever used. So in terms of design, I really, really like this razor. But you'd hope so for the price tag, right? Really, really nice. And back onto the Parthenon. But if you own one of these, and it's the new revamped one with the um, ad adjusted settings, because the first release was apparently ridiculously aggressive and just about unusable past like the second setting, I think a lot of people were saying. But now, this is beautiful. And the reason why I think it's so smooth for me compared to a lot of other razors I have is what I was saying before, the blade exposure. The blade exposure is a lot more minimal on this. So what that does is have less of the blade exposing itself, funnily enough, and because the blades are so thin, when they're exposed quite a bit, it makes them less rigid and less tight. So it, they tend to bend that little bit more and then that's what's called blade chatter. You'll hear a couple of um, other people talking about that um, in their videos. And it, it's a big nuisance because you feel it sort of vibrating almost and it's very uncomfortable. And I've tried a couple of very high-end razors, which I'm not going to name, that still do that. But if you've seen videos on them, then you'll know. But this isn't a bagging video, so that's why I'm not saying. Um, but it's definitely a thing that a lot of cheaper razors have too. All right. Second pass. Let's see if we have any more differences coming into uh, the last pass here. I'm going to leave them on setting five because it's still very efficient and it's enough to get very, very close. I mean, that's just easy. It's too easy. It's, I love this razor. If you had these two razors side by side to buy them, I definitely know which one I'm putting my money toward. If budget isn't an issue, and you just love the look of a Rex Ambassador and you just really, really want to get into that high-end, um, the high-end razors, which I totally get. I've, I've got a lot of high-end razors and I totally understand. This feels a lot more efficient. I'm just going to dial it back just a tad. Number three. Man, this is so enjoyable. I knew I'd love this shave because both these razors I just love. I love them equally like children, but when one's a quarter of the price of the other, I think you can pick a favorite. I mean, faultless by both razors. So I, 
you, I still can't knock the Rex Ambassador because, I mean, I get it and I shave with it and it's still a perfect shave. And, you know, if, if what you want is beautiful craftsmanship, then you have to get this, right? Like, I mean, even in terms of aesthetics, I think the Parthenon is a very good looking razor. Uh, like, I, I think that's a really pretty razor, but the Rex Ambassador, I think, is just a little bit more fancy, especially around the, um, the head. I think it just looks a lot more advanced, but I mean, oh, I still think this is a really pretty razor. I mean, that was the shave, guys. It's super easy, super clean, um, very, very close, and I, I can't fault any of these razors. But which one would I pick? I would pick the Parthenon simply for the price and it's shaving just as good. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but it, it shaves just as good for me. Other than better ergonomics, there is nothing that the Rex Ambassador gives me um, that the Parthenon doesn't do. That's about it. The ergonomics are just that little bit better um, from that really, really intense machining on the handle, which is absolutely gorgeous and it's very grippy and I love it. Um, but yeah, there's nothing that the, the Rex delivers that this doesn't do. So in my opinion, try out one of these if you really, really like adjustables. Then get into the adjustable family. Have a look at the Mergress, which is a razor that I'm really wanting to get. It is a Merca Progress that has been um, revamped, had the little uh, knob changed in it, the, the little yellow, pale yellow knob that no one likes, and they come out not calibrated right. So uh, I think it's Bull Goose. Is it Bull Goose? Um, they do Mergress and they go out and swap it for you and make it look really pretty and it's really nice. and. Um, yeah, that, that would be an incredible shaver. I'd love one of those one day. Um, and you know, if you get a Rex Ambassador and go, this isn't enough, I want something a little bit more hardcore, check out a Rocknell Sailor, um, if you can, because these are just, in my opinion, this is the pinnacle. I, I If there is one razor I have to take with me, it's going to be a Rocknell Sailor because it's only in my head, and I know it is, but it's my best shaver. I know that I get BBS with just about any razor I use uh, with the right blade, and that does the same, but there's just something about it, and I think it's knowing that it's such a rare razor that I just go, oh, wow. And I was like that <clears throat> when I tried the N2 Rex Ambassador. I was like, oh, cool. I love this because I wasn't seeing a lot of it, but I'm seeing a lot of it now, which is awesome because people are actually pumping in the money for awesome razors like this, which is fantastic, and you should because the craftsmanship is exquisite. Um, the, the knob on here is a lot smoother. It's just craftsmanship that you're buying into. It'll last longer. Um, you, you will get more years out of that if it's your daily driver. Um, but if you're like me and have a bunch of razors, then longevity isn't really a problem because the razor's normally sitting there not doing much. <laughs> Which is a big pain and something I'd lo I wish I could get out of my head, but I, I hate letting go of things. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm a hoarder, but I don't know. I I've never been a hoarder except with razors and soaps and brushes. It sucks. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that was a fantastic shave. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, do, would you prefer to invest the money into something that will last longer, you can pass down, has fantastic craftsmanship, or would you just go, right, I'm doing shaving to save money, or I, I just want a really good shaver and don't have the money or just don't want to? Um, go the Parthenon. Let me know how you go. Um, if you can, try buy it brand new. Um, don't try and buy it pre-owned because it may be the previous model that was made that a lot of people did not enjoy because it was too aggressive. And if you do have one of those, um, see if you can get your hands on one of the new ones because that is an incredible shaver. And I want to know you guys' thoughts. Parthenon or Rex? You guys take care, stay safe, make sure you guys keep positive, keep smiling. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you later.